What's happening my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes? Today it is a quick little artist spotlight. I have something very cool to show you that is going to be a throwback to nostalgia, to going to the video shop and seeing a certain movie poster being brought to life by a very talented artist. So stay tuned. All right, ghouls and ghoulettes, story time. Let's go back to the mid 1990s. God, I'm old. I used to go to the grocery store with my dad every couple of days, and instead of going to the grocery store, I'd be like, Dad, I don't want to do this. I'm bored. Dad would be like, why don't you go to the video shop and just have a look? I'll come pick you up afterwards. Video shop was literally like across the road from the grocery store. I remember going into the video shop, even though knowing full well I didn't want to rent anything, but just to look. The smell of stale popcorn, the smell of old used VHS tapes. It was something that has been embedded in my brain ever since. I can unlock those smells, those scenes, those sights, everything. And I remember after having a quick little look in the adult section and getting kicked out of that section, going straight to the horror section. Obviously the video shop was part of my reason for getting into Freddy Krueger and seeing the Nightmare on Elm Street VHSs, but there was also one certain VHS that stood out to me, and that was the 1985 film House. There was something about horror posters that were made back in the 80s that were just so genuine, pure and high quality. Obviously, what I'm touching on today is House, but also your Creep Shows, your Fright Nights, your Elm Streets, your Friday the 13th, your Halloweens. Even though the films sometimes were absolutely crap, the posters were amazing. But anyway, getting back to the House VHS, I always remember looking at this VHS, picking it up and being like, what is going on here? Why is there a severed hand ringing a doorbell? I look on the back and I think, this film looks amazing. So years later, still a kid, ended up renting it. It was amazing. It's a pretty fun film. The effects are brilliant. And it's just one of those cheesy 1985 horror films. It still stands the test of time in that respect. That it's cheesy, it's self-aware, but you gotta love the practical effects in it. Cut to two years ago, October 2020, on the Replica Prop Forum, a very talented artist by the name of Nathan Cunico posts a project that he has put his blood, sweat, and tears into. Nathan has gone ahead and replicated the house poster in 3D. From doing a life cast of his own hand to the woodwork, the engravings, the lettering, everything, the lighting. He has replicated the house poster to a T. And today I am honored to show you said 3D poster in all its glory. So first and foremost, a massive thank you to Nathan Cunico who has a YouTube channel actually called Things and Stuff. Now he does brilliant dioramas, brilliant representations of old school nostalgia stuff. Case in point, he actually has a video up on this build, the full process, it's half an hour long. One of his most recent uploads is his Ghouls and Ghosts project that has been encased in an old school TV. It's a diorama and it's actually given me a lot of inspiration to eventually do my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles diorama encased in an old school TV. Now only three of these in the world exist. So I feel very honored and privileged to own something like this. Ever since Nathan did that initial post on the RPF two years ago, I have had my eye on this thing. I think it is just so beautifully done. It's a beautiful representation of the house poster from 1985. Even the lighting is down to a T. Everything is just perfectly replicated and executed. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys some close-ups and just showing you and telling you some fun facts about this particular build. Now I've gone ahead and I've been doing it back and forth with Nathan about in terms of key messaging, what he wants me to touch on, what he wants me to mention, because I want to do this right. I, I want the world to see this beautiful piece and I am very honored and humbled to own this thing. It is the most perfect representation of a film poster in terms of recreating it in three-dimensional form. Alrighty, first things first, let's start off with this beautiful zombified hand ringing the doorbell. So I do have key points here and dot points to mention because I, again, I wanna do this right, get all the messaging out there in terms of how Nathan constructed and built this beautiful piece. So like me, 
House was one of the first horror movies that Nathan saw as a kid because the poster attracted his attention too. So again, I totally get it. It's such a beautiful poster. Now Nathan started by doing a life cast of his hand in this position. So much so, he actually ended up going to hospital with molten monster clay stuck to his hand as it poured out as he was doing the casting. So talk about suffering for your art, man. Obviously once the clay pour was done, he's gone in and sculpted all the bone work, the worm work, the worm holes, all of the, the kind of decrepit, decaying look of the skin. Now it is mounted on a thread to the doorbell. It is cast in a resin, so it was molded uh, using pinky seal, I think. And I do have a lot of photos to show you guys. The good thing is Nathan documented everything, which is great. It, it makes me want to document every step of the way with my builds a lot more. So kudos to you, Nate. But uh, yeah, he did do a matrix mold for this one, which I envy. I've always wanted to get into doing matrix molds. I think they're just so beautifully done and it just saves on a lot of work and a lot of time in the long run run overall. Now according to Nate, building the frame and doing the lighting took nearly more time than building and the hand and the bell. So in fact it probably did take longer he said. So the lighting was the trickiest part and I totally get it because you kind of got to illuminate with the purple or the, the, the off purple slash blue and then the white down light coming through and they just complement each other beautifully when they marry up especially on the hand. But just look at all this beautiful intricate work here just to replicate the house of the house poster. It's just so well done. Now here's a very cool little tidbit. You see this little plaque that says Morrison? That's actually on the house poster and that's actually a throwback to Bill Morrison who designed and painted the poster for house. So again, just replicating this beautiful detail in itself. Like it's just incredible, it's amazing. Now the text itself was done on one of those vinyl cutters that you can buy, you know, do it all in your house and stuff like that. So he's designed the text and everything and replicated the text from the actual poster. I, I believe initially it was gonna be on the front uh, perspex, the, the cover that I did take off at the beginning of the video, just because there was a lot of glare and uh, you weren't gonna see the details properly. But from my understanding, yeah, it was gonna be on the front acrylic and you just wouldn't see it properly with the lights, but having it at the back, it then illuminates it perfectly with both LED strips. So like I mentioned, only three of these exist in the world. One of them is owned by Bill Morrison, the guy that originally painted the poster back in 1985. Someone who uh, won a giveaway prize that Nathan made another one for, and of course myself. But again, ghouls and ghoulettes, this is kind of like a little artist spotlight because the world needs to see this. This is such intricate detail and fine artistic work in terms of replicating something that's 2D to 3D. And it's funny, people who aren't familiar with the film house or the VHS cover and stuff like that see this and they're instantly taken back by it. They're thinking, what the hell is this? And then you show them, you tell them the backstory, you show them the original poster, and the wow factor is just ridiculous. So I'm absolutely honored to own this. I can't thank Nathan enough. And again, please go check out his YouTube channel things and stuff. The guy's an absolute talent bag. And what I love is he creates such niche creations, things that are embedded in our childhood, but locked away in the old school files, in the old school hard drive of our head. And when we see it, we think, holy shit, I remember that. So thanks very much for watching guys. Again, go check out Nathan Cunigo's YouTube channel, especially the build on this one. It's half an hour long. I myself just want to do a quick little artist spotlight on this thing and showcase it. It's absolutely brilliant. And I'm absolutely honored, like I said, to own this. One of three in the world. So again, go show Nate some love. With that being said, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, ghouls and ghoulettes, please always remember, Cosplayers do it best.